Uh, moving into our five things for this week, Gary, we're talking CPI right out of the gate. Thing number one, uh, the CPI comes in high and is still understated. Yeah, so the March CPI, that stands for Consumer Price Index, and that is typically the gauge that people look at when we talk about inflation. Now, is it really a correct and proper measure of inflation? No, not even close, but that's that's how we view it. Um, that came in for March at 3.5%. Now, is that a big deal? Yeah, it really is. And the reason is because last month was 3.2%. Now we're back up to 3.5%. That kills the disinflation story. And this is something we've talked about a lot. Um, you know, for people who don't love or remember their high school calculus, um, disinflation is a change in the rate of change. It's basically saying we still have inflation, but less inflation than we had before. We, we're, we have increasing prices, but prices are increasing at a slower rate. Well, when your CPI goes from 3.2% to 3.5%, that's not disinflation. That's increasing inflation. Um, the other thing is it was higher than expectations. And even worse, the monthly number was 0.4%. And this is something that we talk about a lot. So people might say, well, wait a minute, do we really care about 0.4%? Right? If, if something, um, you know, if something costs $100, you know, do you really care if it's another 40 cents? Well, no, but the issue is that's a month over month number. And when you annualize 0.4% across 12 months, it annualizes to 4.9%. And when your inflation target is 2%, which I will keep saying this, no matter how angry people get, that 2% inflation target is 2% too high. Um, but when you're trying to target 2% and you're annualizing at 4.9%, that's a giant problem. The core number, um, as usual, was just really sticky and flat. So you had the regular number, the regular CPI coming up, the core flat. And then on top of all of that, I continue to express skepticism on how overstated, sorry, how understated the CPI is. Just as, as my favorite example, uh, last month's report claims that food inflation was 2.2%. Again, I, I ask this question every month. I'm going to ask it again. If you're listening to this and your grocery bill is up only 2%, in the last month, please message me, comment, let me know, because you will be the first. I've been asking this question for two years, and I have not found a single person who will tell me, yeah, my grocery bill is only up 2%. Every number, every answer I've ever gotten on that question since I've been asking it for the last two years ranges somewhere between 20% and 50%. So, you know, people aren't even close. If your grocery bill is up only 2%, Put it in the comments. I, I'd love to read it and find out what in the world you guys are buying. Yeah, and then uh, Gary and I will pack our bags and head out your way immediately.